Hello everybody, I'm Silo. Today we're going to play some Mass Effect Legendary Edition. It's the remastered version of Mass Effect games. So, we're going to start with, of course, Mass Effect 1. Set. And we'll be going through the three series. And we're going to do a Paragon playthrough. Because... I'll let me in Paragon. My decisions will matter. Lies are at stake. Welcome to Alliance Military Database. Classified information requested. Establishing secure connection. Secure connection confirmed. Okay, I'll be back after I create my character. Okay, we made our character. And let's continue. Identification confirmed. Combat difficulty normal. Auto leveling, auto leveling up is off. Level scaling new. The legendary one seems different. What's the difference? Right there. My squad will be defensive. Okay, subtitles on. Auto save on. And enable the tutorial. Pop ups. Uh, we don't need that. I've hit the first one. I know what I'm doing. Well, what about Shepard? She's a spacer, lived aboard starships most of her life. Military service runs in the family. Both her parents were in the Navy. Indeed. She saw her whole unit die on a cruise. She could have some serious emotional scars. Every soldier has scars. Shepard's a survivor. Never wants to use my first name. Is that the kind of person we want protecting the galaxy? That's the only kind of person who can protect the galaxy. I'll make the call. Very different from the original. We are connected. Calculating transit mass and destination. The relay is hot. Acquiring approach vector. All stations secure for transit. Thrusters, check. Navigation, check. Internal emission sync engaged. All systems online. Drift, just under 1500k. 1500 is good. Your captain will be pleased. I hate that guy. Nihilus gave you a compliment. So you hate him. You remember to zip up your jumpsuit on the way out of the bathroom? That's good. I just jumped us halfway across the galaxy and hit a target the size of a pinhead. So that's incredible. Besides, specters are trouble. I don't like having them on board. Call me paranoid. You're paranoid. paranoid. The council helped fund this project. They have a right to send someone to keep an eye on their investment. Yeah, that is the official story. But only an idiot believes the official story. You're just every reacting. You always expect the worst. Well, bad feelings are an occupational hazard. But we don't go anywhere unless there's a good reason, so... What are we doing here? Joker! Status report. Just cleared the mass relay, Captain. 
Stealth systems engaged. Everything looks solid. Good. Find a comm buoy and link us into the network. I want mission reports relayed back to Alliance Brass before we reach Eden Prime. Aye, aye, Captain. Better brace yourself, sir. I think Nihilus is headed your way. He's already here, Lieutenant. Tell Commander Shepard to meet me in the comm room for a debriefing. You get that, Commander? I got that, yep, thanks. I'm on my way. <laughs> is it me or does the Captain always sound a little pissed off? Only when he's talking to you, Joker. Okay. Thanks, guys. I, I think it does look really better. Oh, hi there. And we're Congratulations, Commander. Looks like we had a smooth run. You heading down to see the captain? Yes. He wanted to see me. I'm on my way to give him a status update right now. With all due respect, ma'am, maybe he'll finally tell you what we're really doing out here. I'll look into it for you, buddy. I'll see if I can get some answers when I see him. Good luck, Commander. I grew up on Eden Prime, Doc. It's not the kind of place Spectres visit. There's something Nihilus isn't telling us about this mission. That's crazy. The captain's in charge here. He wouldn't take orders from a Spectre. Not his choice, Doc. Spectres don't answer to anyone. They can do whatever they want. Kill anyone who gets in their way. <laughs> you watch too many spy vids, Jenkins. Hi there. Hello, what do you crew think, mates? Commander? We won't be staying on Eden Prime too long, will we? I'm itching for some real action. I sincerely hope you're kidding, Corporal. Your real action usually ends with me patching up crew members in the infirmary. The doctor is right. Only a fool goes looking for a fight, Corporal. Sorry, Commander, but this waiting's killing me. I've never been on a mission like this before, not one with a Spectre on board. You'll be fine. Just treat this like every other assignment you've had and everything will work out. Easy for you to say. You proved yourself on a coos. Everybody knows what you can do. This is my big chance. I need to show the brass what I can do. Be careful. You're young, Corporal. You have a long career ahead of you. Don't do something stupid to mess it up. Don't worry, ma'am. I'm not going to screw this up. The captain's Goodbye, waiting Goodbye, Jenkins. Me. Goodbye, Nice knowing you. You're going to get shot. Hey there. Nihilus. Commander Shepard. I was hoping you'd get here first. It will give us a chance to talk. About what? What about? I'm interested in this world we're going to. Eden Prime. I've heard it's quite beautiful. Beyond beautiful. They say it's a paradise. Yes, a paradise. Serene, tranquil, safe. Eden Prime has become something of a symbol for your people, hasn't it? Proof that humanity can not only establish colonies across the galaxy, but also protect them. But how safe is it, really? Why are you asking? Do you know something? Your people are still newcomers, Shepard. The galaxy can be a very dangerous place. Is the Alliance truly ready for this? I think it's about time we told the Commander what's really going on. This mission is far more than a simple shakedown run. I knew it. I figured there was something you weren't telling us. We're making a covert pickup on Eden Prime. That's why we needed the stealth systems operational. Should have told me. I don't like being kept in the dark, Captain. This comes down from the top, Commander. Information strictly on a need-to-know basis. But I need to know. A research team on Eden Prime unearthed some kind of beacon during an excavation. It was Prothean. What are the details? What else can you tell me? This is Big Shepard. The last time humanity made a discovery like this, it jumped our technology forward 200 years. But Eden Prime doesn't have the facilities to handle something like this. We need to bring the beacon back to the Citadel for proper study. Obviously, this goes beyond mere human interests, Commander. This discovery could affect every species in Council space. Okay, but I'm glad to have you help, though. It never hurts to have a few extra hands on board. The beacon's not the only reason I'm here, Shepard. Nihilus wants to see you in action, Commander. He's here to evaluate you. Why? Why did he to evaluate me? What's going on, Captain? The Alliance has been pushing for this for a long time. Humanity wants a larger role in shaping interstellar policy. We want more say with the Citadel Council. The Spectres represent the Council's power and authority. If they accept a human into their ranks, it shows how far the Alliance has come. Not many could have survived what you went through on Akuz. You showed a remarkable will to live, a particularly useful talent. That's why I put your name forward as a candidate for the Spectres. 
Okay, what's the next step? But why did you hear my name forward? Why would a Turian want a human in the Spectres? Not all Turians resent humanity. Some of us see the potential of your species. We see what you have to offer to the rest of the galaxy, and to the Spectres. We are an elite group. It's rare to find an individual with the skills we seek. I don't care that you're human, Shepard. I only care that you can do the job. I like you, Nihilus. <laughs> Afraid you're gonna die, though. Just tell me what I have to do. I need to see your skills for myself, Commander. Eden Prime will be the first of several missions together. Oh, you I would say why. Secure the beacon and get it onto the ship ASAP. Nihilus will accompany you to observe the mission. Okay, I'm ready to go. Just give the word, Captain. We should be getting close to Eden. Captain, we got a problem. What's wrong, Joker? Transmission from Eden Prime, sir. You better see this. Bring it up on screen. Get down! The faces look really well designed, but their lips are pretty funny. Hi, Sovereign! You still look like a giant hand to me. Everything cuts out after that. No comm traffic at all. It just goes dead. There's nothing. Reverse and hold the 38.5. Doesn't Sovereign look like a giant hand there? Just like a giant hand coming Status down? Status report. 17 minutes out, Captain. No other Alliance ships in the area. Take us in, Joker. Fast and quiet. This mission just got a lot more complicated. A small strike team can move quickly, without drawing attention. It's our best chance to secure the beacon. Grab your gear and meet us in the cargo hold. Tell Alenko and Jenkins to suit up, Commander. You're going in. Roger, sir. Engaging stealth systems. Somebody was doing some serious digging here, Captain. Everything looks so Your pretty. team's the muscle in this operation, Commander. Go in heavy and head straight for the dig site. What about survivors, Captain? Helping uh. survivors is a secondary objective. The beacons Sorry, are top Sorry, I'm priority. Paragon. Approaching drop point one. Nihilus, you coming with us? I move faster on my own. Why don't you even be watching me and my skills? Nihilus will scout out ahead. He'll feed you status reports throughout the mission. Otherwise, I want radio silence. He can count on us. We've got his back, Captain. The mission's yours now, Shepard. Good luck. We are approaching drop point two. To let everybody know, I will be doing a... A Paragon playthrough, so I won't be doing any of the Renegade options. This place got hit hard, Commander. Hostiles everywhere. Really? I just want to look at everything. Oh, thank God. Thank you for telling me this weird, terrifying looking alien. It's harmless. It doesn't look harmless, it looks horrifying. That is a horrifying creature. I don't care if it's harmless. Take that. That is my treasure. E oh, I do love the new hub map for me, though. Wait, I need to put my abilities. That goes there. That goes there. Stop sprinting. Everything looks so amazing. I'm all designed. Nothing good. And goodbye, Jenkins. That's nice knowing you. Yeah. 
Jenkins, no! Oh, Jenkins! He will be missed. He deserved a proper burial. We'll see that he receives a proper service once the mission is complete. But I need you to stay focused. Aye, aye, man. Okay. Two points in the Paragon. Be nice, everyone. Engaging target. Oh. Hi there. I've got some burned out buildings here, Shepard. A lot of bodies. I'm gonna check it out. I'll try to catch up with you at the dig site. Okay, you be careful. Don't die on me. You're gonna help me become inspector, aren't you? Can you stay alive for that? Right. Over here, if I run correctly, there was it. Yep, there it is. There's a medical here. Uh I don't Care for you, Kaden. I know it's your name. Never liked you in the first game, because I know like you. Ugh. Hi there. Ah, uh, isn't it the famous Aston William? You know, saving you was a mistake. Thanks for your help, Commander. Gunnery Chief Ashley Williams of the 212. You the one in charge here, ma'am? Yep. Are you okay? Are you wounded, Williams? A few scrapes and burns. Nothing serious. The others weren't so lucky. Oh, man. We were patrolling the perimeter when the attack hit. We tried to get off a distress call, but they cut off our communications. I've been fighting for my life ever since. What happened to your unit? Where's the rest of your squad? We tried to double back to the beacon, but we walked into an ambush. I don't think any of the others... I think I'm the only one left. Ah, uh, don't blame yourself. This isn't your fault, Williams. You couldn't have done anything to save them. Yes, ma'am. We held our position as long as we could, until the Geth overwhelmed us. The Geth haven't been seen outside the Vale in nearly 200 years. Why are they here now? Well, they they want must the have come for the beacon. The dig site is close, just over that rise. It might still be there. Right, well, take us there. You're coming with us, Williams. We need that beacon. Aye, aye, ma'am. It's time for payback. Let's go. Anything I should know before the attack? Describe what happened leading up to the attack. We were sent out a couple of nights ago from the main colony to secure the area. It seemed like a routine patrol until the Geth hit us. We never knew they were coming. And the scientists? What happened to the researchers at the dig site? I don't know. They set up camp near the beacon. The 232 was with them. Maybe their unit fared better than mine. Okay, let's go. Move out! Ashley Williams. The beacon's at the far end of this trench. Yes, yes, thank you for telling me. You already said that. I still regret saving you. Poor guy, can I pull him down? I know how to hide behind stuff. But I choose not to hide. I choose to fight. I am not afraid. I have no fear of the gap. Okay. Just gonna grab this. Take all this. What do you have here? This is the dig site. The beacon was right here and must have been moved. By who? Our side or the Geth? Hard to say. 
Maybe we'll know more after we check out the research camp. Any survivors? You think anyone got out of here alive? If they were lucky. Maybe hiding up in the camp. It's just on the top of this ridge, up the ramps. Well, at least that's Take nice. Take the plan, Shepard. There's a small spaceport up ahead. I want to check it out. I'll wait for you there. Got it. You stay there, Niles. I'm coming to get you, buddy. Don't die on me. He's gonna die! Looks like they hit the camp hard. It's a good place for an ambush. Keep your guard up. Oh god, they're looking more horrifying. Oh god, they're still alive. No, they're unalive. What did the Geth do to them? Fusion with technology? A cyborg. Robot zombie. I leveled up. Oh. I used too much of my ammo. My infinite ammo. Alright. Any treasure for me to take? Nope. Not at the moment. Okay, nothing around. Oh yeah, over here. Take that. That's all mine now. Gonna go in here. Gonna take this. Mine. That is mine. Move out of the way. That door is closed. Security locks engaged. Yes, I see people on there. Hi! Okay, let's begin and time to play some Frogger. Ow. Frogger didn't go well for me. I cannot play Frogger today. There we go. Humans. Thank the Maker. Hurry, close the door before they come back. Don't worry, you're safe now. I'm here. Don't worry, we'll protect you. Thank you, I think we'll be okay now. It looks like everyone's gone. You're Dr. Warren, the one in charge of the excavation. Do you know what happened to the beacon? It was moved to the spaceport this morning. Manuel and I stayed behind to help pack up the camp. When the attack came, the Marines held them off long enough for us to hide. They gave their lives to save us. No one is saved. The age of humanity is ended. Soon, only ruin and corpses will remain. Where's the beacon? Can you tell me anything about the beacon? It's some type of data module from a galaxy-wide communications network. Remarkably well-preserved. It could be the greatest scientific discovery of our lifetime. Miraculous new technologies, groundbreaking medical advances. Who knows what secrets are locked inside? We have unearthed the heart of evil. Awakened the beast. Unleashed the darkness. Manuel, please. This isn't the time. Well, he looks like he's in the wrong game. He's screaming nonsense. What's wrong with your assistant? Manuel has a brilliant mind, but he's always been a bit... unstable. Genius and madness are two sides of the same coin. Is it madness to see the future? To see the destruction rushing towards us? To understand there is no escape? No hope? No. I am not mad. I'm the only sane one left. I gave him an extra dose of his meds after the attack. Okay. Williams, take us to the spaceport. You can't stop it. Nobody can stop it. Night is falling. The darkness of eternity. Hush, Manuel. Go lie down. You'll feel better once the medication kicks in. Okay. Bye, Manuel. You go lie down and get some rest and the medication kick in. I don't need your prophecy. Hi, then. Nihilus. Saren. Yeah, Saren doesn't look too well. Can't you tell for the clips and bobs in him? What a tech. This isn't your mission, Saren. What are you doing here? The council thought you could use some help on this one. I wasn't expecting to find the Geth here. The situation's bad. Don't worry. I've got it under control. Kabam. Fine, Alice. Not coming you. Okay, we're gonna level up. Fine. 
Go Paragon, so we're gonna need that. We'll do one to a depth. I'll increase our. Uh, we need barrier. And I'll say into war. And there we are. Oh, he's using. It's a ship. Look at the size of it. Yeah, it looks like a giant calamari. Leave it alone. The only way of a giant calamari looks ship. Oh yeah. Reloading, reloading. Oh, hi. You're very close. Another door. Let's go open it. Hello, people inside. I'm going to help you. Okay, now I'll run up Frogger. Ah, I don't always want to move straight away. Oh, yeah. Everybody stay calm out there. We're coming out, we're not armed. Is it safe? Are they gone? Yes, yes, I killed all the monsters. You're okay now. Nobody's gonna hurt you. Those things were crawling all around the shed. They would have found us for sure. We owe you our lives. Ah, uh, I still can't believe it. When we saw that ship, I thought it was all over. It showed up right before the attack. I knew it was trouble the second I saw it. So we made a break for the sheds. Okay, tell me about the ship. What else can you tell me about the ship you saw? I was too busy running to get a clear look at it. I think it landed over near the spaceport. Tell them about the noise, Cole. That awful noise. It was emitting some kind of signal as it descended. It sounded like the shriek of the damned. Only, it was coming from inside your own head. Were they jamming the signal? It was probably trying to block communications. Whatever it was, it felt like it was tearing right through my skull. Almost made it impossible to think. Can you tell me about the attack details? Tell me everything you remember about the attack. The three of us were working the crops when that ship showed up. We just saw it and ran. I don't know what happened to the rest of the crew. They were by the garage, over near the spaceport, right where that ship came down. No way they survived. You don't know that! We survived! If they made it to the garage, they could have had a fighting chance! Anything else you can tell me about the beacon? Do you know anything about the Prothean beacon they dug up? We're just farmers. We heard they found something out there, but it never really mattered to us. Okay. Not until now. Thank you. I have to go. Hey, Cole, we're just a bunch of farmers. These guys are soldiers. Maybe we should give them the stuff. Jeez, Blake, you gotta learn when to shut up. What's going on here? You have something to tell me, Cole? Some guys at the spaceport were running a small smuggling ring. Nothing major. In exchange for a cut of the profits, we let them store packages in our sheds. Say, so, you know smuggling is a crime, right? You're breaking the law, Cole. We're not hurting anybody. Hell, most of the time I don't even know what's in the packages. Just thought there might be something we could use. I found a pistol. Figured it would come in handy if those things came back. But you'll probably get more use out of it than we will. Is that all? We're risking our lives to save this colony. You sure there's nothing else in here that could help us out? Yeah, there's one more thing. I was gonna sell it after this was over, but you probably deserve it more than I do. Thank you. Who's your contact at the spaceport, Cole? What's his name? He's not a bad guy. I don't want to get him in trouble. Besides, I'm not a snitch. You can tell me. It's okay. He might have something to do with this whole attack, Cole. We need his name. It's important. Yeah, okay, you're right. His name's Powell. Works the docks at the spaceport, if he's still alive. Thank you. I have to go. Good luck. Yeah, I'll keep you guys safe. Thank you for that stuff. It's all mine now. I take anything you have in here as well. Nothing? Okay. Alright. Trying to find the dead body of Nihilus. Oh no. Commander, it's Nihilus. I oh, know, he's dead. Oh, he's not going anywhere, so I'm just gonna get this. Take this. Gonna grab this as well. Get med gel. Hi, Alice. A Turian? You know him? He's a Spectre. He was with us on the wall. Something's moving over behind those crates. Wait, don't 
Don't shoot! I'm one of you! I'm human! You have to be more careful. Sneaking up on us like that nearly got you killed. I am sorry I was hiding from those creatures. My name's Pal. I saw what happened to that Turian. The other one shot him. Good. Tell me everything. I need to know how Nihilus died. The other one got here first. He was waiting when your friend showed up. He, he called him Saren. I, I think they knew each other. Your friends seem to relax. He let his guard down. And Saren killed him. Shot him right in the back. I'm just lucky he didn't see me behind the crates. What about the beacon? We were told a Prothean beacon was brought to the spaceport. What happened to it? It's over on the other platform. Probably where that guy Saren was headed. He hopped on the cargo train right after he killed your friend. I knew that beacon was trouble. Everything's gone to hell since we found it. First that damn mothership showed up, then the attack. They killed everyone. Everyone. If I hadn't been behind the crates, I'd be dead too. Uh, Cole mentioned you. You're Cole's contact here on the docks for the smuggling ring. What? But no! I mean, what does it matter now? So I'm a smuggler, who cares? My supervisor's dead, the entire crew's dead. It doesn't matter now, does it? Smuggling any weapon? Anything hidden nearby that we could use against the Geth? A shipment of grenades came through last week. Nobody notices if a few small pieces go missing from the military orders. You greedy son of a bitch! We're out here trying to protect your sorry ass, and all you can think about is how you can rip us off? I never thought you'd actually need those grenades. Who'd want to attack Eden Prime? We're just a bunch of farmers. How was I supposed to know? Let it go, Williams. Let it go. Forget about him. He's not worth it. You're lucky the commander's here, pal. Hand over those grenades. They're yours. Take them. My smuggling days are over, I swear. You should make amends. A lot of Marines died here, Powell. Those grenades could have come in handy. If I were you, I'd think of some way to make it up to them. Yeah, uh, okay. There is something else I was saving. Could be worth a fortune. Experimental technology, top of the line. Take it. I don't need it. I didn't want anyone to get hurt. Really, I'm sorry. Let's go then. We need to find that beacon before it's too late. Take the cargo train. That's where the other Turian went. I, I, I can't stay here. I need to get away from all this. Goodbye. Look at that. I like explosive weapon. All things to were very nice. Oh, I guess. Yeah. Gotta guess. Did I take headshot damage? I hope they do. Treasure, oh hi. Oh good, no gun's gonna pull down. Big guy charging! Oh here, beat. I died. I didn't kill. You didn't even not save. How far was I? I just here, huh? What the fuck? Here we go, big callus. Catching you up. You can't be at callus now, and we do have barrier. So we'll put that on the floor. So we can actually go into the barrier, protect ourselves. We don't actually need to reload. Duck down, duck. There we are. Shoot the big guy. Wait, he's coming. We're gonna fall for it. Come, big guy. Come, come. Yeah. That's good. Wait, that's not even close. Well, close Well, that container was not even close. I'm quite sad. Better not blow up me. Oh. Yeah, uh, temporary barrier. Come on, come on. Fuel. 
There we go. This is like you're fighting over there. Alright, hey buddy. Hey there. Hey there. Where do you think you're going? Nowhere. Alright. Activate the train. Hi, Theron. Set the charges. Destroy the entire colony. Leave no evidence that we were here. Roger, roger. The gift remind me of droids. Okay, now we have to disable the bomb. Today is not your day, Mr. Gaff. Okay, his first Demolition one. Demolition charges. The Geth must have planted them. Hurry! We need to find them all and shut them down. Yes, I know, but you're not actually helping me to shut down the bomb. This is giving me more support. Ow. I don't like being shot at. All right. Find the leader. Oh, you're going to slap me, aren't you? Okay, when you're shooting me with rockets and bullets, I'm going to sail with this bomb. You just have my map. You will pay for that. Nobody sells my map. No, no, no. No rocket. There we go. He's down. He's taking a dirt nap. Okay, so this guy, yeah, three minutes to spare, and we can definitely disable all the bombs. We are a true hero. Okay, we take the loot. I don't think I'll be coming back here anytime soon. Okay, you, ow. Stop shooting him. Don't shoot me. Okay. Over here. And of course the treasure. Easy to equip, huh? Okay, now game of Frogger. Okay. Treasure. Hey, you guys deal with them. Don't kill them. Just leave them be. Damn, it shouldn't be that tough. I guess still tied too easily. Anything here? No treasure? Ah, oh, but it might be treasure on this side. That's cute. Oh yeah. Problem solved. We're all alive, we're all good. Okay, time to touch the beacon. Wait, over there. Ah, uh, there we go. Now we're ready to touch the beacon. Touch. Normandy. The beacon is secure. This is amazing. Actual working Prothean technology. Don't go near it. It wasn't doing anything like that when they dug it up. Then don't go near it. Something must have activated it. Then go, Roger go near Normandy. it. Standing by. No, don't 
Oh god. I think my brain just got fried. Why is there a chair here? <clears throat> we identified the ship that touched down on Eden Prime. The Normandy. A human alliance vessel. It was under the command of Captain Anderson. They managed to save the colony. And the beacon. One of the humans may have used it. Doctor? Dr. Chakwas. I think she's waking up. You had us worried there, Shepard. How are you feeling? I'm okay. Minor throbbing. Nothing serious. How long was I out? About 15 hours. Something happened down there with the beacon, I think. It's my fault. I must have triggered some kind of security field when I approached it. You had to push me out of the way. Don't blame yourself. You had no way to know what would happen. Actually, we don't even know if that's what set it off. Unfortunately, we'll never get the chance to find out. The beacon exploded. A system overload, maybe. And the blast knocked you cold. Williams and I had to carry you back here to the ship. Thank you. I appreciate it. Physically, you're fine. But I detected some unusual brain activity. Abnormal beta waves. I also noticed an increase in your rapid eye movement. Signs typically associated with intense dreaming. Not a dream, but a vision. I saw... I'm not sure what I saw. Death, destruction... Nothing's really clear. Hmm. I better add this to my report. It may... Oh. Captain Anderson. Hello there, Captain. How's our XO holding up, Doctor? Well, all the readings look normal. I'd say the command is going to be fine. Glad to hear it. Shepard, I need to speak with you. In private. Aye, aye, Captain. I'll be in the mess if you need me. Sounds like that beacon hit you pretty hard, Commander. Are you sure you're okay? I'm just really annoyed at the gas. Intel dropped the ball, sir. We had no idea what we were walking into down there. That's why things went to hell. The Geth haven't been outside the Vale in two centuries, Commander. Nobody could have predicted this. I just feel bad for Jenkins. I don't like soldiers dying under my command. Jenkins wasn't your fault. You did a good job, Shepard. I feel full horrible for Jenkins. You said you needed to see me in private, Captain? I won't lie to you, Shepard. Things look bad. Nihilus is dead. The beacon was destroyed and Geth are invading. The Council's going to want answers. I got nothing to hide. I didn't do anything wrong, Captain. Hopefully the Council can see that. I'll stand behind you and your report, Shepard. You're a damned hero in my books. That's not why I'm here. It's Saren, that other Turian. Saren's a specter, one of the best, a living legend. But if he's working with the Gith, it means he's gone rogue. A rogue specter's trouble. Saren's dangerous, and he hates humans. He wanted the beacon. He didn't come to Eden Prime because he hates humans. You're right. Saren has allied himself with the Geth. I don't know how. I don't know why. But it had something to do with that beacon. You were there just before that beacon self-destructed. Did you see anything? Any clue that might tell us what Saren was after? Yes, I had a vision. Just before I lost consciousness, I had some kind of... Vision. A vision? A vision of what? A warning. I saw synthetics. Geth, maybe. 
Slaughtering people. Butchering them. We need to report this to the Council, Shepard. What will we say? What are we gonna tell them? I had a bad dream? We don't know what information was stored in that beacon. Lost Prothean technology? Blueprints for some ancient weapon of mass destruction? Whatever it was. Saren took it. But I know Saren. I know his reputation is politics. He believes humans are a blight on the galaxy. This attack was an act of war. He has the secrets from the beacon. He has an army of Geth at his command, and he won't stop until he's wiped humanity from the face of the galaxy. You're right. I'll find some way to take him down. It's not that easy. He's a specter. He can go anywhere, do almost anything. That's why we need the Council on our side. Understood, sir. We prove Saren's gone rogue, and the Council will revoke his specter status. Nay, I'll doubt. contact the Ambassador and see if he can get us an audience with the Council. He'll want to see us as soon as we reach the Citadel. We should be getting close. Head up to the bridge and tell Joker to bring us into dock. Well, I'm going to end it here, folks. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you want more Mass Effect Legendary Edition, please let me know in the comments below. And consider subscribing to my channel. See ya!